Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a handbag review and the bag that I'm going to be reviewing for you all is the Balenciaga City Bag. This is just the regular size, regular hardware. Um, I have the Vert Doe color, which is a 2007 color. I've had this bag since 2008, but I also have a traditional um, Black City as well. So obviously I like the bag. If I have it in two colors, it's the exact same bag. I think the details will be easier to see on the green, so that's why I'll show you that. So if you want to see, then go ahead and keep watching. So this bag has kind of a lot going on, but it's very simple at the same time, which probably doesn't make much sense. I'm going to try and explain. So the bag itself has um, one zip across the top. It has tassels that hang from the zippers. Mine have split, but um, to me, I just think it make it makes it look like it has more tassels, so I'm totally fine with that. It has these little like bunny tails, I guess that they call them, that kind of hang over the um, the top where the zippers go. The handles have a whip stitch detailing right here on the top. There is one pocket here in the front that I normally just stick like my cell phone in, um, but you can stick keys or anything that's really handy that you want to be able to have quick access to. When the bag, when you first get the bag, there also is a mirror that's attached to here that sits here, but I keep mine um, separate with all the cards. I don't like to carry mine around. And then there is one pocket inside as well. Now because this is a 2008 or a 2007 bag, the pocket is very minimal. Um, there isn't a lot of depth. Since then they've extended that pocket so it goes down um, for a majority of the bag but um, mine's an older version. So on the inside it's just plain black and it's very simple and clean. There is nothing on the back. There are no feet on the bottom. So you can either carry the bag by the handles or there's also a little shoulder strap. To me, this isn't long enough to wear cross body, but you could take it and just sling it um, over the shoulder here if need be. The shoulder strap is attached to a, um, a hook and a loop right here. And then there are rivets all over the bag to give it kind of like a motorcycle type feel. So they have them all on the front, they have them on the back of the handles, um, on the front here, on the sides here, and even on the sides of the bag where the shoulder strap is attached. When you get a Balenciaga, there will also be a tag on the inside. Some are metal and some are um, leather, depending on the style and the year that your bag was made. So mine, for example, says Balenciaga Paris. It has N some numbers and then a V. And this is essentially kind of like a date code. So this will tell you what year and season your bag was made. So for example, if you had a black bag and you weren't sure what year it was because it's not a distinctive color, they have black every season, um, you can look on the inside tag. And if you go to purse um, purse forum, there's like an authenticity section and they'll be able to tell you what year your bag was made. Now, as you can see, I have the regular hardware. Um, there are multiple types of hardware. There's like a mini giant hardware, a giant hardware. Um, this is the regular brass hardware, but I believe now there's also like gold or silver or rose gold as an option. So there's all different types of hardware that you can get. These bags are extremely lightweight and very, very squishy. So when I first got my bag, it stood... Um, pretty much solid like this but now it just doesn't even it doesn't even stand up it just collapses into a puddle and it only gets better and softer with use <laughs> a difference between the bags that were made in 2007 versus my bag made in 2010 or any bag that was made in 2008 or more recent is the fact that these bags were made with chevra which is goat leather and now they're made with agnew which is lamb leather so another thing to keep in mind 
So that's kind of it. It's a very quick tour. It's a very simple bag, but honestly, this is probably my favorite bag in my collection. Also, this is the first designer bag that I ever purchased back in 2008, so it's very special to me, but um, I think that a Balenciaga bag is classic. It's timeless. It's something that's never going to go out of style, regardless of color. Um, I personally love my mint, but I also use my black on an everyday basis as well. As you can see, I have a bunch of stuff in it, which is why I chose not to show you this bag today, but it can hold a ton and the fact that it is super lightweight and just flexible and it just, I mean, it's just turns into like the most beautiful mushy pile of leather. So I just love it. If you guys have any questions or would like to see any additional bag reviews, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.